One thing you'll need to be familiar with in recording is cables and connections. Connecting a microphone to a preamp or a guitar to an amplifier requires a cable. In the analog world, there are balanced and unbalanced connections. Balanced cables and connections are designed to reject external noise from radio and electromagnetic sources, and balanced cables can be run long distances without picking up noise. There are also different connections that you will need to know about. Professional microphones, for example, use an XLR connection. The XLR connector is a style of electrical connector primarily found on professional audio, video, and stage lighting equipment. The connectors are circular in design and have between three and seven pins, but for almost every microphone, it's only three pins. These pins carry the signal from the microphone to the input of your device. Pin one is ground, pin two is positive, and pin three is negative. These pins also carry phantom power. This connection has many names like TRS, phone plug, audio plug, quarter inch cable, it was invented for use in the telephone switchboards in the 20th century and is still widely used today in both its original quarter inch size and miniaturized versions, 3.5 millimeter or approximately 1 8 inch and 2.5 millimeter, approximately 3 32 inch. The connector's name is an initialism derived from the names of the three conducting parts of the plug, the tip, ring, and sleeve, hence TRS. This connection has many uses. For example, professional headphones use this connector and it carries the signal as left, right, and ground. On balanced outputs of a device, this would be positive, negative, and ground. There are also mono or TS versions of this cable, which you may know as a guitar cable. These are the same size, but only have a tip and a sleeve. Some pro audio speakers use the same quarter inch TS connector. But speaker cables are not the same as instrument or line level cables and shouldn't be interchanged. There is more to TRS cables and connections, but these are the basics. An RCA connector, sometimes called a phono connector, is a type of electrical connector commonly used to carry audio and video signals. The name RCA derives from the Radio Corporation of America, which introduced the design in the early 1940s. These cables are used for many things, such as video, line level audio, digital audio, speaker connections, and more. The use of quality cables is especially important when using RCA cables for a digital connection. You may see cables bunched together in a group called a snake. An audio snake is used for getting several cables to the same location while minimizing size. Typically, these will be a combination of XLR and TRS, or just XLR connections. One end will typically have a box with inputs, and the other is a fan of cable ends with the corresponding outputs. There are also several kind of adapters that you can get to help you connect one kind of cable to another kind of cable. Here's an example of a 1 8 inch tip ring sleeve to a female quarter inch tip ring sleeve. This will be useful if you needed to connect a set of professional headphones where you had a stereo quarter inch cable or tip ring sleeve quarter inch to an input that only had a 1 8 inch tip ring sleeve plug such as a laptop or mp3 player. If you wanted to connect those to your professional headphones you'd need an adapter just like this. Here's another useful adapter. This is a male quarter inch to female RCA. So this would be useful if you needed to connect a male RCA cable and go into a quarter inch input. And here's the reverse of that. This is a male RCA to a female quarter inch. This would be useful if you maybe had to go from a RCA output to a quarter inch input. So you plug this into your RCA output, you plug a quarter inch cable into here and that would go to your quarter inch input. Here's another cool adapter that I have laying around. This is a female RCA to female RCA adapter. So this would be useful if you perhaps needed to extend an RCA cable a little bit longer and all you had were two male RCA cables. So that would be the adapter you'd use. Here's a, another example of kind of an obscure adapter. This is a 3 seconds inch mono plug or tip sleeve going to a stereo 
one eighth inch or tip ring sleeve plug. I used this on an old Korg metronome that I needed to go to headphones. Here's another adapter, it's a larger one here. This is a tip ring sleeve quarter inch to female XLR connector. Now this will be useful maybe if you were going from a balanced output and you needed to run that to something with an XLR balanced input. Here's some different type of adapters. This is a tip ring sleeve or stereo quarter inch male to two quarter inch female. Here are another set of useful adapters. This, this one here is a female RCA going to two male RCA cables. And this is the reverse of that. This is a male RCA going to two female RCA. This is useful if you have to split some signals and send them to two different inputs. Here's another useful cable. This is a female quarter inch to two male mono quarter inch. Here's an example of another super useful cable. This is a male 1 8 inch tip ring sleeve or stereo going to two male RCA cables. Now this is useful if you want to connect the output of your iPhone or MP3 player or even your laptop into the input of a mixing console that has RCA inputs or your audio interface that'll have RCA inputs. This is the cable that you need to do it. Let's say you wanted to go from this stereo 1 8 inch input to quarter inch. Well, you could get a special cable for that, or you can use this same cable and put two RCA to quarter inch adapters on it, and that would work too. This is maybe not the greatest way to do it, although there's nothing particularly wrong with this, but if you have a cable that doesn't use an extra connection, that would be better. But this is perfectly acceptable to do.